Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. And on this video, I'd like to go over a couple more examples on function notation. So let's start off with a function that we'll call f of x. And let's let that function be x squared plus 4. All right, so I want to just go back to our thought about how function notation is really just function machines, right? And so this equation is just the function machines equation. And we want to look at how we can take different inputs and see what our output will be. So let's go ahead and start with an input of x equals 1. So in terms of our function machine, that would be the number that we would be dropping into the function machine because x equals 1. So we need to rewrite our equation, x squared plus 4. So my input was a 1, x equals 1. So this x that's in the equation is also going to become a 1. So I'm going to write 1 here. Now let's solve this function. I have f of 1 equals, well, 1 squared is the same as 1 times 1, and that is 1. I bring down the plus 4, and 1 plus 4 equals 5. So f of 1 equals 5. What that tells me is that when my input is 1, and I put it into the function f, my output is 5. Okay, let's go ahead and label some of these things just so we can keep track. Okay, 1 is my input. f is my function or equation. And 5 is my output. Okay, those are all the different pieces we have for function notation. Now let's use this function again, but this time let's use a new input that we can put into this function. So instead of doing f of 1, let's go ahead and do f of 2. So 2 is my new x value, and 2 is my input, what I'm plugging into this function. So since x equals 2, and I have x squared, instead of writing my x, here, I'm going to instead write a 2, because x equals 2. Now let's go ahead and work this out. f of 2 equals, well, 2 squared is the same as 2 times 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. Bring down the plus 4. And 4 plus 4 is 8. So again, let's recap how we want to read this, right? Math is all about learning how to read the numbers as a sentence. This says f of 2 equals 8. That means the reader knows that when 2 is my input and it's put into this function f, the output is 8. Okay, let's do this one more time. Let's use the same function. But this time, let's let our input be 3. So in this case, x equals 3. So where I had the x squared back here in my original equation, this new x will become a 3. All right, let's go ahead and solve this problem. f of 3 equals 3 squared is the same as 3 times 3. So 3 squared is 9 plus the 4. We've got to bring down that 4. So f of 3 equals 9 plus 4 which is 13. Okay, so let's, again, recap this and make sure we're understanding how we can read this as a sentence. f of 3 equals 13. That means when my input is 3 and I drop it into my function f, the output is 13. In our next video, we'll look at how we can take these three different inputs and outputs and organize them into a table. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you next time.